Hey everyone, this is Chad from Good Creative Tutorial, and I'm just going to do a short tutorial here on one technique to mimic some of the work from well-known uh, photographic artist uh, Jerry Eulesman. I believe that's how you pronounce his last name. Um, I saw I took my photography university class to a museum uh, about a year or two ago, and his traveling exhibit was there, and it was pretty neat. You can uh, probably look on Google Images or look on his official website and check out a lot of his work. Uh, this is one way to do it. I'll, I'll probably record another tutorial for a different example. But this is one of his famous photos. It's just this branches are growing up and um, kind of look like they're coming out of that old dilapidated house. Uh, he's famous for using a lot of different enlargers and negatives uh, in the dark room, not using Photoshop, but using the old school techniques. But I figured I'd show a quick way to do a similar technique in Photoshop digitally. So a cool thing about this tutorial, I try to do this when possible. Uh, I'm going to put the links in the YouTube description for the support files. You can actually follow along with the exact support files I'm using. They're in Creative Commons. So go ahead and open up this one in Photoshop after downloading that from the link, and then open up that one as well. And what we're going to do eventually have this look here where the roots of the tree look like they're coming out of the side of the house instead of the entire house. Just the side here coming down and we're just going to apply a mask here for this technique. So uh, go ahead and pull this tree one off the tab there and use the move tool here on the toolbar and uh, well first we need to actually desaturate it. There's many ways to make it black and white but we'll just do the simple technique. Just go to image adjustments we can do desaturate or just go to hue saturation bring the saturation all, all the way to the left uh, we want to do that for the other one as well because they're black and white photos we're going to mimic this technique so now that these are black and white grayscale use the move tool and click and drag that over on top of this one All right, and we could make the other one smaller but I'm just going to stretch this one out just a little bit uh, what we want to do is bring the opacity down a little bit so we can kind of see through and you can hold the shift you want to maintain the proportion I'm actually, I'm actually going to stretch it out a little bit uh, and what we want to do is just have it so the, the branches of this one are coming out of the bottom of the house and if you can't see it too well you can bring the opacity back up a little bit toggle it back and forth something like that and press enter bring the opacity back up and for this top layer you need to add we need to add a layer mask so go ahead and click the add layer mask at the bottom of the layers palette make sure your foreground color here is set to black and choose a soft edge brush make sure you're at the hardness set to zero percent and left and right bracket to resize on the go, but we're just going to just uh, kind of click and drag over here. Something like this. Go to the left and make it a little bit smaller. Just want to go along the edge here. And you can zoom in if you want uh, for more detail, but I'm actually going to keep this tree right here. Alright, and we could zoom in and make selections, but I think this is fine for the kind of effect we're going for. Um, and that looks okay, but I actually want that uh, little doorway to actually show through. So with that, just the opacity brought down, I'm just going to click on the doorway like so. See what we come up with here. I'm going to bring that up to the top there. And maybe it's a little bit strong there, so I'm going to actually bring it through. And also, instead of black, you can also do gray for it to partially show through. For more soft kind of effect there. Like so. Alright, so then it's kind of gradually coming through. Then I'll set to black again. And really mask out this edge, though. So we really see... That. All right, so that's a simple technique. The other one, um, I had it pushed over a little bit to the left, but either way, 
uh, instead of having to use darkroom techniques, he makes he's made some really amazing uh, photographic art. Uh, we can use Photoshop and do kind of a similar technique where these roots are coming out of the house there, just with a simple masking and using different layers. Uh, I'll probably have another tutorial soon on a different technique, a little subtly adjusted one with another example from his work, so be sure to subscribe. Thanks.